and this is my friend Avery. Avery. And today we are going to talk about childhood stories or embarrassing moments that you have experienced. Can I go first? Uh, yes. I actually just thought of a really good one. So when I was three or four, I loved horses. They were my favorite animal. So, like, I would always... Like, you know how you would play those animal games when you were younger? How you would act like that animal and stuff, and you would play with your friends and, like, go on adventures and stuff? Well, one time, my parents took me to this big park, because I honestly didn't get out of the house much as a kid, and that probably contributes to why I don't go out much now. And anyways, so, um, they took me to this big park so I could play with kids and socialize and stuff, and I was pretending to be a horse the whole time. <laughs> what is that? That's my mom. <laughs> I was pretending to be a horse the whole time. I would neigh and like gallop around, <laughs> and all the kids <laughs> they, really sad. and they would walk up to me and be like, "Hi, my name." I'm just making up name. My name is Jeremiah, and I'd be like, "Nay," but not like that. I'd actually go like, Drum! <laughs> like a horse, <laughs> and then, and then they and I'd be like pretending to be a horse and stuff, trying to catch on, trying to get the other kid to catch on, they just kind of walk away like, walk us oh, up wow. with her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so when I was younger, um, my friends used to say that they were monkeys, like, and that, um, there was two girls, two guys, and I was the third girl. Well, the two girls and the two guys would say that they were all monkeys, and I was really sad because I was left out of that, and they said that they were, like, family members, and I got really mad, so I would punch them and be like, you're not monkeys. You are not monkeys. If you're monkeys, then I'm a dragonfly. I don't know where that came from, but I was just like, I'm a dragonfly. I have one that's really similar to that. Um, when I was, oh, I have two. I'm going to say these both in a row because they're very, very similar. So in first grade, there was this boy, and um, we liked each other. Yes, people can like each other in first grade, so shut up. Anyways, <laughs> so um, he told me that he was a warlock, and his sister was a witch. And I asked him what I was, because he said that warlocks had the powers to tell what other people were, and what their magical powers were, even if they didn't know, and he told me I was a gypsy. And I believed him. And I would tell everybody, like, I'm a gypsy, and stuff, but I had to keep it a secret that he was a warlock and that his older sister, who's just a year above us, was a witch. And um, I, I accidentally told one of my friends, <laughs> I kind of told everybody, and um, <laughs> and I told him, then he, then he told his sister, and she started cussing it out in Spanish, <laughs> and she was, and I was in first grade, and she was in second grade, so I was just kind of like, like, Why would you cuss him out in Spanish at this age? And then in third grade, me and my friend, we were very, very obsessed with this show called H2O. And um, it was about, like, mermaids. And so we thought we were mermaids after a while. And every time, and it was during summer break, summer break of 2008, so we were going into third grade. And um, so every time we went to the pool at summer camp, um, we would... We would like put our legs together and hopefully that our tails would grow on and you know if we swam without looking at our legs we really did feel like we had tails. Then we, we were really weird about the full moon because on H2O the full moon did weird powers and stuff. So um, every time there's a full moon we would always have to take a bath out of fear our tails would come out and we would fall in the shower. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then, like, mid-third grade, we're kind of like, I don't think that I'm really a mermaid, do you? Then she's like, yeah, I've been thinking that for a while. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. And, yeah. Okay, so here's another story. Um, I was about in first grade in Mr. Goody's class. One day, like, just to get out of class, I asked to go to the bathroom like 17 times in one day, and he let me go every time. I'm pretty sure he thought I was really screwed up, but I just really <laughs> wanted to leave the class. So I spent probably an hour out of that whole day in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, it was really sad. <laughs> trying to think of another one. Well, I will go again. Go yeah. ahead. Okay, so, I already told this one to Taryn, but, um, one day in, like, kindergarten or preschool, I was sitting next to this girl, and we were, like, eating sugar cubes, and, um, and I had to go to the bathroom really badly, but I didn't really want to ask. So I, like, peed in the chair, and it was, like, running down the leg of the chair. And so I, she, she saw, so I looked over at her, and I was just like, yeah, the chair's <laughs> leaking really badly. I'm just, it's like, chairs don't leak. She just looked away. She must have thought you were insane. And I just walked away, like, from the chair without anybody knowing except her. Oh, I already told this one, too. But, um, one time in, when I was in, like, first grade, I wasn't a very good reader. And that's funny, because now I'm, like, one of the best readers I know. Um, I didn't learn how to even read until first grade, so I was really bad at it. And, um, so my parents would always spell out bad words, so they could still kind of cuss, and I wouldn't know what they meant, because I didn't understand letters. And then one time we were watching MTV, and, um, the person said dick. And so my parents were like, Taryn, do you know what that means? And I go, yeah, D-I-C-K. And <laughs> they were, <laughs> oh, they, they wondered where they went wrong. They... <laughs> Like, what happened? It is an easy word to sound out, but they they were quite shocked. They're just like, we can't spell out words anymore. I now they always really shocked they too. always tease me for it. They always walk up to me and go, D-I-C-K. <laughs> I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> do you have one? Oh, yes, I do. I, um, the only reason I remember this is because my dad and my mom tell me. So when I was a child, like, three years old, if I didn't get my way, I would smash my head into the ground until I started crying, and then I would stop. That's horrible. But I always did it, no matter what, no matter the pain. I would keep doing it because I didn't get my way. And my parents didn't stop me because when they tried to stop me, I would just smash my head harder. That may be, be the cause of why I'm so stupid. You're not stupid.